previously on Danganronpa V3. Hiya guys, it's me, Crazy Gonta here, here to tell you how I totally smoked that bitch. Boom, baby, boom! It's funny, me with me strangling her, her head popped like a little cherry. It was like, woo, and the giblets came raining down on me. <laughs> me crazy! <laughs> oh, Jesus! Whoa, okay, that's a little too inciting for me. Okay, never mind. <laughs> that was a bad idea. And now back to a new killing game. Hello! Sneak up B. Back with some more Danganronpa V3. We last left off, we completed chapter four, and oh, my soul still fucking hurts from it. Ah, why? Why, Kokichi, why? Why did you do this to us? Why? Ah, uh, Gonta's dead. It's all your dumb, stupid fault. Fuck. <laughs> so, yes, as I sort of expected, I, I saw a lot of people sort of uh, squabbling over Kokichi and his, his actions and whether... It's like, well, should we forgive him? Is it still sympathetic? Should we? Was it a lie when he said he felt bad, but then said he didn't? It's like, which one is a lie? Which one isn't? Uh, I mean, it, here's my thought on this. Um, uh, it's true. A lot of you guys said um, Gonta was the one to decide to do this, right? To to go and kill somebody. But I don't think it's fair to say that Kokichi didn't uh, manipulate Gonta, because I believe he really did. I don't, and I don't mean like he brainwashed him or anything. I mean he. He even said that he was the one that suggested that we do a mercy kill, right? He was the one that brought that up. It wasn't like Gonta came up with, You know what would be a great idea, Kokichi? Let's kill everybody! Wow, great idea, Gonta! No, he said that he came up with the idea of a mercy kill. To be fair, it's like, yes, Gonta agreed to it, but Gonta, like, is so easily manipulated, you know? It's so easy to have him do whatever you want, you know? If you seem genuine and you, and you make it, like, even just a sort of semi-fair argument. He's like, well, I guess that's better than suffering here and in the real world. I don't know, me just trying to think of something to do. Also, I do feel like, I, I believe that Kokichi picked Gonta though for the very reason that he wanted to shatter Kaito. I think he wanted to to, to break Kaito's uh, strong sense of belief because he knew that Kaito would inevitably probably believe in Gonta because Gonta is generally a a nice character, someone you couldn't possibly imagine to kill somebody. So he sort of took that to his advantage, and and then in this trial, where again, like always, kind of was like, no, we got, we gotta believe in them. Kokichi was like, yes, baby, here's my moment, boom, in your face. But it sort of backfired, right? I mean, I don't know if he was expecting us to actually like fall through and be like, you're right, Kokichi, goddamn. You're right. You know everything. We should listen to everything you say. I, I, I'm not really sure. I don't know how disconnected Kokichi is with that uh, reality, but but I think it's clear that he that's why he picked Gonta, at least in my opinion, from what I can tell so far. Maybe we'll find out something later that uh, says otherwise. So maybe he does feel a little bit bad, you know? Maybe he... But it was pretty hard to tell, you know? I I don't know. I, it's, I just... I'm very conflicted. I'm very, very conflicted. I, I'm not crazy about Kokichi right this moment. Maybe that'll change. Maybe as we uncover, we'll learn something else. But right this moment, right, right now, after what he did with Gonta, I'm I'm not crazy about him. <laughs> I'm not very happy with him. But I don't think that's an unusual thing to feel, you know, for someone who was so loved to be sort of turned against everybody. You know, it, it just it hurts. I think about Kokichi. I mean, he's a great antagonistic character. I don't don't get me wrong. I think he's. I actually think he's better than Kameda is in in terms of uh, being a very interesting opposing force in this game. He's very smart. He's able to see the weaknesses in people and exploit them for his own means, right? I think that's why he had picked Gonta, right? He knew that Gonta could be easily manipulated to do what he wanted, and he knew that Kaito would likely believe in him. And it's like, I think he just meticulously plans these things out. So I'm not saying he's like, a bad character by any stretch of the imaginations, no. But uh, I don't think he's a particularly good guy <laughs> right this moment either. But we actually see in the back here we got another new thing. This time we got a Ferris wheel. I'm not really sure what that has to do with anything that happened in Chapter Four. I don't think we came across a Ferris wheel at any point, did we? Yeah, I, I don't know. I kind of figured each thing would have to to do with uh, each preceding case, but I'm not really seeing it with a Ferris wheel. Well, I ran out of ideas and decided I just want a Ferris wheel on top of my house. By the way, uh, I checked the casino and it seems the uh, the mean difficulties have been unlocked. And yep, you can met a maximum of 9,199 uh, tokens. So I went and grinded a little bit for coins and I managed to get like over 100,000 coins. And uh, so I used that to buy uh, all the skills they had there. 
all the uh, currently held gifts, as well as, I think, six love keys. So, yeah, that's going to tab me over for uh, a good while, at least. I think we only have, like, six or seven people left right now, anyway. <laughs> Not too many more people to choose from. And I've actually already, I've already done two of them. So, yeah, probably be good for the remainder of this uh, this playthrough, at least until the uh, the post-game content. But, yeah, I'm not really sure what's going to happen from here. I, uh, I It seems like we have two more chapters, so likely one more murder, and then I think the final chapter will be like what it usually is where we figure out what's going on with the school. But, uh, anyway, all right, end of chapter four. Let's get started. Start with a little mindfuck at the beginning like we always do. Probably. Ah! <laughs> My adorable mono cubs. I know I might have killed those last two, but those other ones, I didn't have anything to do with that. I mean, my kids did it, so it's not really that much better, but no, oh, it's such a sad, sad day. Oh, ah! Oh, ah! Little Monotaro, little mono funny, little mono dumb, and the <laughs> and those other two. Oh, why did you have to die? Your lives were irreplaceable. Does that mean that the exosols are going to be gone now, though? <laughs> My grief is piling up like freshly fallen snow. I didn't even know I could cry tears. What the hell? Who built me this way? I told them, make the most of your life. Cause you only get one shot at it! And once it's over, nothing can replace it! Oh, why did they take their lives for granted? It's all their stupid fault, now why? If only they cared about their lives, they would have worked harder to earn my love! It's all their fault! <laughs> Bad stuff always happens to kids whose parents don't love them! <laughs> Can I had absolutely no hand in that? But the more I think about it, why did those kids even exist? <laughs> Where the fuck did they come from? Why try to fix something that ain't broke? I should have stayed the, the mascot all along! What's an irreplaceable life anyway? Fuck if I know! I'm a moral bitch! Chapter 5. Voyage without uh, passion or or what? I mean, it went too fast. Ah, uh, can I see the name of the chapter in the? Oh, that's right. I got I got a new. I also got a uh, a new uh, uh, theme for my thing here. True blue. I'll reveal the truth. I'll reveal the truth. Yeah. Oh, I can see my face in the back. <laughs> Including my freaked out face. Ah. Oh. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. It's true blue, baby. The morning after Gaunta was declared the blackened. Gathered in the dining hall, as always. Kokichi actually gonna be there? Nope. Didn't think so. As always? No, how could that be? With everything that happened yesterday. And yeah, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, yep, seven left. Ah, Owie! Ah Alright, and I was bleeding out my fucking insides. Even in such a dark time, one of us was still bright. Trying to cheer us all up. Uh, Kaido? Jeez. Jace, I'll be stupid, stupid guys. There's no way I die, you know? I'm Kaito Momota. Luminary of the stars. That's right, because I'm kind of a moment, Luminary of the stars. Hey, are you really okay? Got it. I'm telling you, just fine. I was feeling great yesterday. But after a good night's sleep, I'm all better. <laughs> I'm 100% better now. But. I'm kind of, okay. I was actually kind of wondering if he'd come back and be like super down and. I wonder, if, will he be okay with Shuichi again, or is he gonna still be pissed off at me? But there's no way you get better so quickly after coughing out that much blood. I told you, didn't I? Just coughed up too much. Coughed too much. I cut my throat a little. That's all. Um, are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard, or suffering from a chronic illness? Idiot. Don't be stupid. If I had a chronic illness, I wouldn't stand a chance in astronaut training. Seriously, you guys are worrying too much. 
It's just because you all love me, I can't help you. Of course we'd be worried. My bad. My bad. But I'm serious. You don't need to worry about me anymore. I should have told you guys I wasn't feeling well. I made your wife for nothing. Aw. Come on. Bucky man. loves him. Uh, okay, no, don't glare at me like that. <laughs> but I do start to feel bad again. I'll have you guys help me. Okay? Now well, that's out of the way. I see? Yeah, come on guys. Sorry. Woo! My cups are dead! Woo! <laughs> Mimic Gorza might be dead. And so is me, you, but at least the Mark comes down too! That's five fucking down! Kinda spoke cheerily and then left to go get his meal. Oh, you know what? It's I, I just sort of hit me. Uh Gonta was always the one to find that writing, right? On the rock. So I bet we're not we're not gonna see it ourselves, the full writing that uh, this is my world, Kokichi Oyama, because uh, I don't think we, any of us really knew specifically where it was. I have no idea what is up with that, honestly. I don't know why, like, Kokichi would be periodically riding on there. I don't think it is. Is it, like, another Kokichi or something? I, it, it is making me feel a lot like Danganronpa 2 and that this world is just fake, right? Maybe D Kokichi from the past wrote this to... No, but that doesn't make sense, though. Why would it, why would it slowly start appearing as we solve each case? Uh, I have no idea. I'm just bored. I guess I just feel like dicking around. I don't even know why I bothered to do that. Now that Gaunt is dead, no one's going to know about it. Let's be honest, Nick. I just have way too much free time in my hands. Is there really nothing wrong with what I saw yesterday? I'm going to act like nothing's wrong. Despite Kaido's remarks, he should probably receive medical attention just in case. I guess. Now I've got another reason why we need to get out of here. Okay. And on top of that, we need to do it fast. But... Escaping is all well and good, but what does the outside look like? We still don't know what the secret of the outside world is either. I bet we're in Narnia! Um... Delta wouldn't tell us what it was because it'd give us so much despair we want to die. What was that? <laughs> hey, that's true. What could possibly be happening outside this academy? Maybe zombies? Alien zombies? Insect alien zombies? Got to return to the table, his hands full of food. Oh boy, I can't wait to pop this up later. I mean... We can't figure that out, just thinking about it. There's no way, no point wasting your brain power. But... But we can't simply... We can't simply not think about... You know... Sure, there's a chance the outside world is messed up because of Monokuma. But make us worry about it is what Monokuma wants. He's using it to put pressure on us. Luigi and Gonta just snapped under that pressure. The outside world is probably fine. You. You're such an... Uh, uh, you're such an optometrist. Can you prescribe some rose-colored glasses for me, too? Uh, 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 oh, okay. I thought she was actually trying to say optimist. But no, she actually meant to say optometrist. <laughs> so she prescribes some rose-colored glasses. Uh, uh, I think you mean, uh, well, I, actually, I don't know. That, that started off not working, and then it, then it did actually work. I think you mean optimist. No. Either way, there's something to think about once we get outside. So focus on that now. Shuichi. As a detective, what are your thoughts on this, Shuichi? Uh, okay. I think Kaido's dying, and I love him. I don't want him to die! I, I've considered a few theories, but I can't say for sure. You're right. Well, that's understandable. There are barely any clues. Fortunately, my magic is still running low. God damn it, Mimiko. Will it ever come back? I don't know. I'm going to keep this joke going as long as possible. Since the incident yesterday, Kano wouldn't look me in the eyes. Oh, come on, man. Really? You must still be angry. But I had no choice. I had no other options. My deduction wasn't wrong. If I hadn't identified Gonta as the culprit, we would all be dead. For the rest of us to survive... Gonta had to be sacrificed. There's nothing I could do. Hey, so... Uh, I'm glad we're talking about how to escape, but... Where'd he go? Kokichi. Huh? Oh, shit! Ah, bugger, bugger. The instant Kaido spoke his name and Earth's energy shot through us. No. I haven't seen him. If I did, I'd be the... I'd be the one running away. Hmm. I haven't seen him either. It's like he has completely vanished. Mm -hmm. He's apparently really good at hide and seek, so he's probably just hiding somewhere. Um, he jumped back inside that toaster again. We just can't let that person be. He's a little too dangerous. No, not just a little. Because he... 
He enjoys watching us suffer. His face just screams that he's having fun with whenever he sees us suffer. It's not normal. It's obviously something wrong with him. How annoying. If we weren't in this killing game, I would have assassinated him already. <sighs> Ironic. The rules of this killing game actually make it harder to kill. Hey! Mackerel! That's not good. Playing this killing game is just what Monokuma wants us to do. Can I, like, smack him around or something, though? <laughs> I mean, seriously, there's no rule against beating the shit out of him! <sighs> I know. Mm -hmm. Eh? Is Maki Roll a nickname for Maki? That's a good nickname! <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a nickname like that. How about Himikodo Dragon? <laughs> Makes me want to take a bite out of her with soy sauce and spicy mustard! Right, Maki Roll? <laughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. I guess I don't know how close we are to this yet. <laughs> we're not quite. We're not quite that close yet. Hey. I'm sorry. Hey, if we don't do anything, we'll be killed by Kokichi next. But even now, he's hiding somewhere and plotting against us. <laughs> no. <laughs> ah, I can hear him. No, actually, we're safe right now. We just started the chapter. There's no way anyone would die this soon. Kokichi told us that his objective was to win the killing game. He wouldn't risk a murder that would so obviously implicate him. But. But he might be planning to make us suffer some other way. Like how he used Gonta. Anyway, we need to find him as soon as... Oh! Hey there! Whoa! Here I am! Yeah. Ah, it's Monokuma! Why? What are you doing here? <laughs> oh, I've got business with you guys, of course! Can't rely on my kids anymore to hand out the shit! What's the point? Surprise, right? Hurry up and give it to us. Can do! Hmm. You're being awfully compliant. Oh, yeah. Of course! I can't refuse you all! Not when I'm not all alone and outnumbered! Outnumbered? Well... But I'm used to being alone. Back in the day, I was alone from start to finish. <laughs> Back in those other games and anime. <laughs> anyway, here's your prize this time. You get two keys. This one is the last real key, and this one is the real last key. <gasps> Whoa! Slow down there, boy! Okay, so... Uh, one of them is gonna be t to that room that's next to my uh, lab, right? Uh, I don't know about the other one. Well, what's the difference? Now then. Now then, go find the areas that these keys will unlock. Bye-bye. And learn valuable life lessons along the way. See you <laughs> oh, I kind of like saying that. Looks like Andrew's good for something. What should we do? So, what should we do about this new area? I, I think we should prioritize searching for that new area over searching for Kokichi. It likely contains a flashback light, and we may discover some new facts. Why you? So you're saying humans are low priority? Typical for a bloodless, tearless machine man. <laughs> I'm not sure we're close enough for you to be making jokes like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a joke! What do you want to do, Kaido? I'm worried about Kokichi, but there's no point worrying about him all the time. Alright! Alright! First priority is solve the mystery of this academy! Let's investigate! Alright, I mean, let's head it all over to Shuichi and let him solve for us! Then... Uh, Alright, I'll hold on to that. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, that's right. That meeting my eyes, Kaido placed the key to my palm. Mm -hmm. Kaito, Shuichi, what's the matter? You both seem different today. <laughs> God damn it, Ka Kibo, you're not helping! Well, read the mood, Kibo. It's fine. Just go already. We split up and begin our search. Oh. That makes Shuichi sad. Uh. Alright, uh. Is one. Oh, what? I was thinking, like, is one of them actually gonna be this door over here? The one that seemingly had no door handle or anything on it. I guess it is. Uh, oh, there. Are, wait, there are door handles on it. I guess it was just locked. Hey, man. Kind of still one look me in the eyes. Talking to him is gonna be awkward. Oh. Maki, help me. Hey. I wonder where Kokichi is. There are only so many places he can hide. No. I'm not sure. It's possible he's always on the move to avoid being caught. Or he's in that room that he obviously unlocked with the card key. Which again, I I feel like we should have immediately, immediately thought of the the uh, area behind the bookcase for the card key. 
I mean, if it ends up not being that, I guess, okay, well, then I guess it wasn't it, but if it is that, then it just, it feels like there's no reason we wouldn't have immediately thought of that, because that is the only place we've ever come across that has need to be open with a car key. That punk. <laughs> punk. That guy's really twisted if he enjoys people suffering that much. <sighs> but I'm not any better. I take those lies for a living. Hey! Don't say it like that, Makuro. You're facing your past self. Unlike Okishi, he doesn't even want to try and change. That's the worst decision you can make. You're right. T true. Okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So. Aw. <laughs> God damn it, Kaido, get over it. <laughs> you two get along. Jeez. Oh, Jeez, looks like Kaido is still upset with you. <laughs> yeah, thanks for saying that, Himiko. Hey, Shuichi. He needs to get over himself. But you should think about his feelings too, Shuichi! <laughs> what happened to Gonta? No one could sort out, sort out their feelings in just one night. Ducky face. I know. I know. Uh... This one? It's unlocked! Alright, let's go. Okay! Key. It's still here. Can be used for something else? Oh! Spiral staircase. See spiral staircase. Looks pretty long. Where's the staircase lead? Uh, got a monitor in here too. All right, up we go. Whoa! Keep an eye out for any Monokuma dolls. I don't trust anything. Oh, I can see see one being set like right here on the on these little side areas. It's a pretty long staircase. Where's the lead? Yeah, got it. It's going all the way to the top. Keep an eye out. Ooh! Huh! Finally reached the top. It feels that there's something there. It's supposed to be cautious. I'm going on! <gasps> Woo! It'd be cool if there was a little, a little like, trampoline at the bottom. I could just jump down and jump right back up again. Oh! It's Kaido! Look at the stars lab! Another lab? It must be. Yeah, my right, Got it. Finally! Looks like it's my research lab. Oh. Kaido! <laughs> Kaito! Ah, those stairs were long and such a pain! I'm tired! Someone give me a piggyback ride! Where's Gonto when you need it? Oh, right. He's dead. <sighs> they must climb all these stairs just for the ultimate astronaut's lab? Hey! What do you mean, Joss? This is the main stage! It's finally been real! I'm tired. Hey, someone, give me a piggyback ride. I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> Anyways, go, go inside. There might be something useful in here. Probably. Don't screw around. What do you mean, probably? It's gotta be full of super important stuff. Hey! Hey! Is this not, is someone gonna give me a piggyback ride? Shut up! Shut up! Not gonna give me a piggyback ride. <laughs> uh, let's go inside then. <laughs> I'll give you a piggyback ride, Himika. Thanks, Yoichi. You totally get me. Whoa. Ooh, a cockpit. Hmm, it's amazing. Looks like the cockpit of a spaceship. Hmm. It's pretty cool. Put it in my research lab. You. you can operate this? I mean, it's probably just a simulator, but... Ah. Yeah, I've seen this this machine. I've tried with some, something like it. Got it. Uh, I guess it'll all work out. What a breathless confidence. I don't ever want to be in any vehicle you're driving. You know. Wow, it's really a simulator. I feel like it's it's too elaborate. <laughs> oh, we are. Oh, are we gonna be on a spaceship in the middle of space or something? This is this is the cockpit for this for that spaceship. Nah. Ah, no way, it's real. I mean, oh, would it even operate? Oh, I fucking bet. At that moment. Hey, hey, come look at this. Huh? Huh? Something wrong? Um, I found this in the back. Huh? What is this? A file? The Gopher Project! Gopher! Gopher face! It's just, it's just 300 pages of Ashina's face. Gopher Project? So I must pull off the ultimate Gopher face. Countries from all over the world work together to create a meteorite defense plan. But none of us can remember the details of it. Hmm. So this file's information about the project. 
it's probably going to relate to this, right? Is, is it going to be... Are they going to mention, like, I, I got a great idea, guys. We're going to make a high school on a fucking spaceship and launch it into space. How about that? Yeah. Yeah, that's like a great idea, doesn't it? Why are y'all give me that look? What? So, what does it say? Okay, hold on. I'll read it. Uh, um, let's see. The Gopher Project. The last hope to save humanity from the disaster raining down from space. Burdened with this imperative project are boys and girls of exceptional talent. Hey, that's us! That is the purpose of the Gopher Project. Hey! Well, well what about the rest? The rest of it! What's it say? Hey! Don't tease us! Uh, just say it already! Well, that's... The rest of it is blacked out. I can't read any further. Yeah. Ah! What did you say? Damn. Did Monokuma do this? Damn it. He's just squirreling with us. Hey. Do you think this is part of this part about boys and girls with exceptional talent? He's referring to us. Hey. What could the seeds of future hope mean? What's this about the new world? Is this? It's like Noah's Ark. Huh? Huh? Noah's Ark? Well, Noah's Ark was built with gopher wood. Oh. <laughs> Go. What? Why do they call it gopher wood? Man, I know it's actually spelled differently from regular gopher, right? That's G-O-P-H-E-R. What? Uh, oh, yeah. You're right. Okay. Of course, it's a story from the Bible, but to choose that name in particular. Hmm. It does seem related. How does all this relate to the Academy? To us? We're, like, brought in here to, like, start mankind over again, essentially? But instead with the, the best and the brightest? Because <sighs> fuck old people! No, that makes any sense. Well on the next flashback live, we might be able to remember something about it. Now you mention it, where is it? Doesn't seem like it's in this lab. All right. So it must be somewhere else. I gotta go look for it first. That's true. You're right. This place is useless to us now. So... I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that. We gotta find that flashback light. Away! Flashback light. Our last hope. But thing that Monokuma created. I don't want to pin out something that Monokuma has touched. But there's nothing we can do. There's no way to re other way to restore our memories. Planetarium device. It's a large machine, perhaps for a planetarium. You project stars on the ceiling with this. It's quite the facility. Window looks down on the school building and courtyard. Something above it seems this is the top floor. Ooh, actually now I just sort of hit me. We've, so we've got, I think, two labs that we haven't uncovered yet. And that's Kokichi's lab and Rotaro's lab. Ooh. I feel like we'll probably come across from Taro's lab at some point. I don't know if it'll be this one. To, it'll help us figure out what his, who he was, right? His ultimate ability. But, uh, I don't know about Kokichi, honestly. Oh, hey. Well, hello there. Don't mind me. Just a demon want to go on. Hang it out. Don't you dare, Shuichi. Don't you do it. Oh, it's one down. Extravagant door. Uh, this key? Oh, this key again. Okay. Hmm. Huh. The key works, but it won't churn. Could it be ticking? Uh-oh. This is in danger. Hurriedly backed away from the door, and then... Boom! Explode it! Trap? That was dangerous. Hmm. Could have really been hurt. Ooh. Whose lab is that? Is that the fucking psycho's lab? Is that Kokichi's lab then? This must be an ultimate lab from the door. Whose lab is this? There are only a few of us left who don't have a lab yet. All right. I should check inside. It's like a butcher's knife on it. When I turn the knob. Huh, it won't open. No, come on! You fuck, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. Oh, the researcher's lab is closed because it's owner is dead. Oh, this is Rentaro's lab? The owner is dead. Hey, um... By the rules, if a student dies before their ultimate research lab is opened, so that lab will remain forever, will remain closed. That's, that's the first time I'm hearing this. Yeah. This is the first time I mentioned it. There's no point in complaining to Monokuma. This is his academy. Anyway, if this lab belongs to someone who died, then is this Rintaro's lab? Aww. Oh, how 
disappointing. You know what his talent was if he went in his lab. <laughs> Maybe you can tell from that little icon on your mini map. Huh? It'd be quite a dramatic development if you learned what his talent was right now. Huh? Wh what does that mean? Yes, what does that mean? I don't know. Tell you the truth. That sort of unexpected development can only happen in a real killing game like this one. Oh no. Oh well, what a waste. Can't believe that idiot killed him. Hey, Kaisan, idiot! Tar's lab, cures the best talent, but it's too late now. Oh, come on! Like, seriously, what is this? Look at this crazy freaking doorway. And the icon, sort of similar to it. It looks like a sword and, like, blood going down it. it I mean, it looks like the ultimate serial killer or something. I mean, we already have Ultimate Assassin, Ultimate Swordsman, unless he's also an Ultimate Swordsman. Ultimate Knife Wielder. Nails, blood dripping down. Ugh, that's just... Ah, why? Come on! Why would you do that? Ah. Uh, well, okay. Actually, is is that all, the only people that's left? Is it just Kokichi now? Yep, it's just Kokichi's left, so that must be the next... Must be the other one, then. I'm betting the school's gonna be a little more... Cleaned up now. Actually, maybe maybe totally done. All the exiles are probably gone now. Now all the monocups are dead. The greenery is completely gone. This place really feels mechanical now. It's like construction is almost done. What happens then? Then I can take over the universe. Ultimate Academy, the likes of which we've never seen before. Will we ever find out what that means? Nope. Never. Never ever. It's looking pretty good. It's come a long way, guys. I mean, this place might be fucking hell, but hey, it looks it looks nice and fancy at least. Yay! Ugh, that pisses me off so much that we he doesn't let us go into Rentaro's lab. I was really hoping we'd figure out what his, what his talent was. Especially after seeing that door. It's got me all kinds of intrigued. Okay, I'm not sure what, what what other places have we have we not examined yet, anyway. Oh, well, there's Samugi. Hi, Samugi. I uh, only well, got two last keys. Actually, one. I already finished off the other. We would have been better off with a thief's key and a magic key. Huh? huh? Why is that? Uh, oh, don't worry about it. I was just talking to myself. But how many times does this happen now? What do you mean? Uh, Class trial ends, we get Monokuma's prizes, and then we search for a new area. It's getting kind of predictable. You know, that same flow over and over and over and over and over and over. Okay, okay. The fact that all the murders keep happening in the areas we discover. I sort of thought maybe it'd be better if we didn't find anything. But, but to solve the mystery of this academy, we're going to have to use the flashback lights to remember the truth. Of course. And then we need to do that, too. All right. All right. I'm just going to stop worrying about it. We need to keep live for Gonta and everyone else and escape this place. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Uh, Alright then, I'll plainly look around the school. I'll let you know if I find anything. She likes saying that word plainly a lot, don't you? That is my favorite word in the world. Plainly! Oh! Was that here before? Was there like... I, maybe it, was, it must have been garbage or something in the way. I'm pretty sure that was... Not there before. There aren't many doors left that could be opened with the keys Monokuma gave us, correct? There is a door in that wall. Perhaps we can get in. There's something next to the door that seems to resemble a keyhole. Yep, sure looks that way. All right. Only one left. Open. The sound. The giant door unlocking? It's gonna open it up and it, I just get sucked into space. Ah! <laughs> Cyber Courtyard. Ah. What is this place? This is... I feel like I'm on the set of a sci-fi movie. A mecha could pop out at any moment. <laughs> ah, there's one right there. Ah, where? Why, why are you pointing at me? <laughs> Took every ounce of my strength to hold what in what I just wanted to say. <laughs> oh, wow. It opened up a whole other area over here. Welcome to the dome. The murder dome. Hmm. This is different from the other places we've seen so far. And this maze-like hallway. Perhaps it's to defend the building that leads to it. It leads to... Well, uh, well, this seems suspicious, doesn't it? What is this? 
It's an empty, kind of plus shaped room. This is where you battle the ultimate Monokuma plushie at the end of the game, Shuichi! Oh, I knew it! That golden ultra holographic Monokuma does exist after all. That's right! It's gonna be amazing! I'm gonna use the power of my Hoge. It's the only way to slay it. What in the fuck is that? What is this? The shutter's huge. This is. It seems to be well fortified. Hmm. That is an electric barrier. We can't raise the shutter while it's active. Hey. If they're protecting it this strongly, there must be some secret in there. Yes. That's a possibility. Let's investigate to see if we can get in. Ah. W wait, it's dangerous. Don't. Before I can fetch more warning, Kibo approach the shutter and. Oh boy. <laughs> what, what is this? Kibo! Kibo! Get away from! Oh! You done fucked up, Kibo! You're dead! Hey. Oh my! Just, just this? Don't you go set off the alarm now! Okay, okay. Come on, come on! Out of the way so I can turn off that alarm! Come on, Kibo! Hurry up, slow ass! Jeez, you guys gotta be more careful! Huh? Be careful? What's that alarm for? It's so loud. Yeah. Oh, I see alarm system. Here. Did I forget to mention that? You see that motion sensor alarm above the shutter? Oh my. In order to turn it off, you need to use an alarm remote. Hey, um. A super loud alarm will blare if you approach the shutter without it turning off the system. Why? Why is there an alarm system here of all here of all places? Oh, ho, ho. this place is so important that it needs to be beef, these beefed up security. I guess while I'm here, I'll also explain that electric barrier. Hey, um. To turn it off, you gotta enter a 59 digit code in the control panel next to the shutter. <laughs> what? Uh, 59 digits? I'll tell you what the code is, but only once, so make sure you memorize it. Hold on, let me go ahead and take a picture of it with my phone, just in case. Just in case. Probably not, I don't even know if that's all of them, but I'm, I'm not gonna bother to count. Hey! Oh, wait, slow down, please. Uh, five, oh, wait, what was the rest? Only three numbers! Come on, robot! How can you do better than that? Hold your barrier and alarm system. That's pretty hot, tight security. Why? What are they guarding so closely? Could be in there. Here. Is it like Kokichi's lab or something? I mean, he's the only lab we haven't come across yet. Like I said, this is a very important place. My mood is swinging. This is where you exit the Matrix. Well, it used to be important, but that was a long time ago. Now it's just pointless. Huh? Pointless? Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Yup, it's pointless. So I may as well give you the guys the alarm remote. You could use it to turn off the motion sensor alarm with the shutter. Beep, beep. Turn off the alarm system, didn't it? Oh, maybe th this place is uh, based around maybe what the original objective of the, what this ship was. I mean, I'm guessing it's sort of like what this may end up being a little bit like Dongropa 2, where originally this the ship was maybe planned to save humanity some way. If I, I'm assuming, I'm kind of jumping the gun here and assuming that we're in a ship in space, but I don't know. I'm just getting so many strong indications that it, it's probably going to be like that. But anyway, this facility was meant for that at least, right? So. I'm guessing this is probably part of that, but maybe Monokuma hijacked it and... Spread his despair and shit and do another killing game? Because that's what I love to do. I like to take things that are going great and then turn them to shit. Now just use the control panel to deactivate the electric bear and go on inside. Hmm. Um, can you repeat that code you mentioned earlier? What? Huh? How annoying. But this is your first visit. I'll let you inside just this once. Oh. Monokuma walked into the control panel, quickly punched the numbers and... System, you're all dead! What the fuck? Uh, okay, now I just gotta manually raise the shutter and you can go inside. You can either use the, the control panel inside to restore the alarm system and an electric barrier, or to the control panel out here, or do nothing, and the barrier alarm will stay off. Now then. Well then, safe travels, bye! Oh, okay, I was not expecting you to make it that easy for us. That was gonna for stay forever closed. You just let it into this highly secured area? It's this game. Shuichi! Let's go, Shuichi. We have no other direction to move, to move but forward. His my inner voice is telling me hope moves forward. Okay. Yeah, you're right, Robo Nagi. 
Heard brr. Oh, wait, I can't lift the shutter. I can't get in. Oh. Oh, I see. It's the lab of the Exosols. That's what he means by, This place is useless now. Ah, over there. It's... Megatron! An Exosol. Oh, no. Uh, uh, all five of them are here. It's too dangerous. Let's run. Oh. Wait a second. Hmm. They aren't moving. They're not reacting to us and the lights are off. That's right. Oh, now that you mention it, you're right. I wonder what's going on. Again. Did you miss me? I know it's been like two seconds. <laughs> Surprise! That is actually the Exosol hangar. Yep, this is where the Exosols are stored. Silly for storing Exosols? Hey, um... This is where I was guarding the precious Exosols so no one would mess with them. Wah, wah, wah. But, oh, it's pointless now. That's... It's because the monocups are gone? No one can control the Exosols anymore? Huh? What? No one can control them anymore? Huh? Am I wrong? Well, well. Oh, don't worry about my reaction just now. I thought someone, I thought someone over the top reaction will put you guys on the defensive. Do not mock me. <laughs> what does that mean? Be quiet. Now, now, don't get so worked up. You may be a machine, but you're not a demon model. Like that one from Blood Punch Man. Bye. Deactivate Exosols. Is this hangar pointless now that monocups are gone? That's true. There's nothing threatening us anymore. Can't slay them all. Uh, uh, no, wrong. Ah, uh. oh, it's control panel. That's... This is most likely the control panel for the alarm system and electric barrier. Hmm. Yes, it seems like it. There's no reason to turn the barrier back on, so we shouldn't touch hmm? it. Are you saying that because I don't have the 59-digit code to deactivate it memorized? Because all robots can memorize more than three digits. Is that what you're implying? No. <laughs> No? Jeez, calm the shit down. All five exos are being stored here right now. They aren't moving at all. The exos not going to move anymore. They're no longer going to be used against us. Now, it does seem kind of weird, though, that Monokuma wouldn't have also have control over them. Hydraulic press? It's a huge, powerful machine. That's... This hydraulic press is probably used to scrap de decommissioned exos. Huh? Scrap them? Yes, even the Exos could not withstand being crushed by a giant metal slab. You're right. True. By the way. Also, it seems you can control the hydraulic press using that control panel over there. Hmm. There's an up and down button as well as an emergency stop button. There's a safety notes written here. Okay, I'm feeling like this is gonna be the place where the next person dies, probably. The hydraulic press is an infrared sensor. When it detects a living being, it automatically stops for safety reasons. That's true. If someone accidentally ended up in the press, the machine would stop. Oh. Uh oh. But it wouldn't stop if Kiba was in there, right? Oh dear. I think I must be starting to raise some death flags for Kibo here. Um. What do you think, Shuichi? Huh? The safety function? I, I don't know. Well then. Let's give it a try. Uh, um... uh Try what? So I stood there confused. Kibo suddenly got under the press. No! What are you doing? Okay, maybe not. Shuichi, please. Please what? If the press comes to a stop when it detects a person, what will happen if it detects me? Let's find out. Are you sure about that? I don't know if the sensor will work. Don't worry. If I sense any danger, I'll move out of the way. I just really want to try it out. If I don't, I'll never be able to rust in peace when I die. <laughs> Was that pun necessary? He's not going to change his mind about this. Okay, let's do it. But get out of there if it's dangerous, okay? Certainly. Now, if you would be so kind, start it up. Okay, well, maybe not then. So we're doing it right now. Unless I kill him here. Convinced by Kibo's enthusiasm, I press the button. And then... Good night, Shuichi. Farewell! <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> that, that was a close one. Wait. Yes, it was. Why did you do that? Why, Why didn't you press the four stop button, Shuichi? <laughs> it's not my fault. You didn't tell me to do that. But, but at least we know now. Unfortunately. It seems I'm only perceived as a machine, not a human. For now. Well, to this hydraulic press, that is. You're right. 
Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, oh boy, that definitely raised some death flags for Kibo, though. Is that a car wash? So say a car wash. It's for cleaning the exosols? This is That seems comfortable. <laughs> comfortable, huh? Where's this door? <laughs> the hangar bathroom? Whoa, that's some super hydraulic freaking toilet they got there. This is a bathroom. Doesn't look like it's been used in a long time. I suppose that makes sense. I'm sure the first person to be in here in a while. Monokuma and the Monokub certainly don't need to use the bathroom. But then, why is there a bathroom here in the first place? If they were under the impression we would never be here, why make a bathroom? Hmm. Does that mean I was wrong? There's something that concerns me here, so I'll go back. Hmm. hmm. Suggesting maybe what its original use was for? Or something? Or maybe that someone else has been here? Or maybe one of us or something? Suggesting there could still be a possible mastermind behind it all? I have always suspected that I'm perceived as just a machine. But it is rather harrowing to have that suspicion confirmed before my 100%. eyes. 100%. I may be just a machine to this press, but I am sure others will confirm my humanity. Oh, painting machine. I was like, what's it? What's the left that I have to examine? This huge machine has several moving arms. What's this used for? This, is... this machine is probably used to paint the exosols. You're right. All right. Just kind of smell like paint thinner. Um. Which means I could potentially use this machine to get myself a makeover. No. I don't think you need a makeover. You're great just the way you are, Kibo. Yeah. Well, of course I am. <laughs> then why bring it up? I've investigated everything here. It's definitely a hangar for the Exosols, but they're deactivated. Monokuma might be right. This place no longer has any purpose. Hey, Suichi. <laughs> hey, Suichi, there you are. I was looking for you. Oh, uh, who is that? Who could that possibly be? It is I, the Lord of all hey. of time and space. Hey, come to the dining hall. Sumugi says she wants everyone to meet meet huh? there. Huh? Sumugi? Right. Still means she found something. It's probably the flashback light. Okay. Anyway, come as soon as you can. I'm gonna go on ahead. Okay. Next flashback light. Oh, oh wow. we remember this time. Shed in the dining hall. I wonder if he'll uh, be like the one that we showed to Gata uh, earlier that showed him the outside world. I kind of feel like probably not, but hey, folks. Right? Is everyone here? Guys, it's serious. Ah. Yeah, you found the flashback light, didn't you? Let's use it already. Huh? Oh, sorry. It's not the flashback light. Huh? It, it's not. I honestly thought that's what this was all about. What's that mean? Then why did you call us all here? I had to go to the bathroom. And I could have used that cool hyper futuristic bathroom. No. I bet it has water that shoots up your butthole. I found... Something pretty serious. I thought I should tell everyone right away. Pretty serious. Uh, okay. Um, so what'd you find? It's from that one thing. Oh, oh, she found it. Those letters Gana found in the courtyard. There's more added to them again. Huh? The letters in the yeah. courtyard? It's like the message is complete now. I can finally read it. And it says... This world is mine. This world is mine. Kokichi Oima. That's what's written there. What? This world is mine? What's that mean? What? What's going on? Why is Kokichi's name? Yeah. <laughs> so that's what, that's what the, it means. It was all just a prank by Kokichi. Huh? A prank? Yup, just oh. a prank, bro. Kept adding to that message just uh, so we can make fun of us. Seriously, what a messed up guy. Mm -hmm. Ah, I see. That definitely seems like something Gokichi would do. It's true, but is that all there is to it? I don't think so. Horse! When Gonta had first found the writing, all it said was, Horse A. Over time, more letters were added. Eventually, it, re it, read, it read, This world is mine, Gokichi Oyama. Can we really just ascribe it to Kokichi's pranks? You know... Well, who cares about Kokichi? More importantly, what about that flashback light? Hmm. It seems no one has found it yet. Hmm. Maybe that's Kokichi's fault too? 
He probably found it first and hid it. I see. Hmm, that is possible. Like I thought. We need to do something and find him. Ah, ah no need. There's no need to worry to bother with him. Best way to deal with guys like him is to ignore them. Just leave them be. What's wrong? They just crave attention. You say that, but you were the angriest out of all of us. No, there's something I was just thinking about. What? Thinking about? I mean, still a little too early to tell you guys, but leave it to me. Well, just leave it to me. There's no need, no need for you guys to worry. I'll figure it all out, or I'm not gonna be a dead guy in this chapter. What are you talking about? Figure what out. Don't say that. Don't raise your death flags, Kaido. Hey guys. I mean, I'm gonna go get you guys. I'm gonna get you guys out of here. Kaido is going to get us out of here. Ah, there's that reckless confidence again. <laughs> there are those death flags again. Huh? Reckless? Huh. Huh. You guys just don't get it. Jeez, arrows always misunderstood. Hey, hey. Hero, whatever. It doesn't matter. Just don't overdo it. Of course. Yeah, just leave it to me. I feel like we're not getting to the end of this game with Kaido alive. <laughs> There's just no way. This guy's gonna be fucking dead. Perhaps Kaido's confidence is baseless. But sort of a relief to have someone so confident at a time like this. A hero. He might really be one. Unless he kills somebody. And then fuck him. We weren't able to find the flashback light, so we all all we all left the dining hall and returned to our rooms. So that I could gaze upon my epic Monokuma collection. Gotta see what that new one was I got that was hidden. Oh, it's, an, it's just another light bulb one, but the different color. Oh, I see. Actually, I'd probably suggest then the next one will be a uh, in the uh, the driving mini game, and then the one after that will be in, I guess, another uh, digging mini game. Assuming we're going in order again. So you like, because the first three chapters was Hangman's hey, Gambit, driving one, digging one, and now we're going Hangman's hey, Gambit again. So some time left today. What the dick should I do? I wonder if I can actually hang out with Kaido. Before we do that, though, let's, uh, let's have a look at... Uh, oh, yep, Gonta. Gonta, you were so kind. You always tried to help us in your own strange way. But I sacrificed you. The secret of the outside world you discovered. A horrible truth. To save us from that, you were willing to kill. Oh, <laughs> Freaking Miu. Miu. You were so troublesome, even at the very end. Still, you didn't have to die. You didn't deserve to die like that, Miu. Even if you were about to kill somebody yourself, and uh, you know what, I don't give a shit. <laughs> yeah, you do, you deserve to die, you dirty whore. Oh, by the way, uh, you guys uh, t t informed me of something uh, that probably would've been very helpful earlier. If I hit triangle here, it tells me specifically where, where characters are. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I really wish I'd realized that. Probably would help me out a little bit. But Kakichi is go isn't anywhere. Can I actually hang out with you, Kaido? It's no use. It's no use. I wouldn't even know what to say to him. Ah, damn it! Come on, man. We, we started on yours already, though. I need two more. Fuck. Why oh, you gotta be that way, man? At least only Kibo and Sumugi. Everybody else is fucking dead. You know what? I think I'll hang out with Sumugi. I really don't don't know you all that well, aside from you and your geeky tendencies. Yeah. Being a hero is lonely. It's a classic plot. There are even heroes who are lonely because they're too strong. Like Saitama. I'm holding out for a hero who can clean up this whole mess with one punch. <laughs> Speaking of which. Yeah, we're getting a lot of one punch references this episode. Tsumugi turned talked to me passionately about her favorite hero. Yes, I've seen it. Jesus. Spooky and I grew a little closer today. All right. Well, I think I've got a, quite a few things that I think you would like. Like a sewing kit. What is this? <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that was not the expression I was expecting. I was expecting just like a nice, like, ah, happy smile or something. And I, <laughs> you give this to me? <laughs> ah, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you so much. Those are the only words I can say. I want to fuck you so much right right here. Should we just do it right here? We're going to use the gift you gave me. What? You're going to use the threaded needle I gave you? How? Oh, you'll find out. No, no, no I don't want to find out. Now put on your furry cosplay. No. You're weird, Shuichi. Huh? Weird? How so? 
You want to hang out with plain old me when everyone else is so flashy? Hmm. Smooga, you keep calling yourself plain, but I really don't think you are. I mean, look at that crazy hair. Yeah. No, I'm plain. I know it. So you don't have to worry about being polite. I'm not just trying to be polite. You have blue hair for fuck's sake. Actually, there's people surprised when they finally notice me. They're like, whoa, where did this girl with glasses come from? I wonder why glasses are always associated with plain characters. That's... Well, when you think about quiet and smart kids, you picture them in glasses. <laughs> There's a bunch of athletic kids with glasses, though. Like in sports anime. You can't! But the characters with glasses are never allowed to take them off. <laughs> Not even once. It's like they say glasses are just like underwear. Is that why your glasses never come off? Come off? That's exactly right. I have definitely never heard that before. <sighs> Wait, why are we talking about glasses again? Uh, he started it. Um, all right. We were talking about how, how I'm so plain. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, what is your- Why do you keep saying that so often? Uh, okay. Yes. Um, I'll tell you just how plain I am. When I go into a crowd store, nobody notices I'm there. And when I want to check out, I need to try really hard to get the clerk's attention. That's, that's not so bad. It's normal in crowded stores. It's happened to me. Seems like... When I go to theme parks with friends, I'm so plain they lose sight of me. Uh, um... That's not your fault either. Theme parks can get pretty hectic. It's plain to see. And I always have a sewing kid and two plain white handkerchiefs on me. Hmm. Consider that plain? I think it's a good thing to be prepared and you're the ultimate cosplayer. Hmm. <laughs> Are you challenging me to a plane off? Girl, I will fucking throw down! Did you forget when I had the hat on? I was super plain back then. But only after I removed my hat and showed my hoga did I truly qualify as protagonist material. Huh? Why is she making that face? Looks like she's bothered by something. Stop. Just letting you know, but my list of plainness isn't in there! Once you hear the rest, you'll think, Oh man, she's so plain! Why is she being so insistent with this? Right? First off, when the teacher's taking tense in class, they'll skin me. So I have to make sure I, d I get counted or I'll be marked absent. Doesn't that suck? It's plain to see. It's plain to see! Then whenever people are splitting a team, so I get picked last because I'm plain. Then when I go into town on my day off, I get stuck behind people on the street who don't notice me because I'm plain. Plain, plain, plain! Blain, blain, blain. And I go to a store and none of the clerks try to help me because I'm plain. Because I'm plain is quickly becoming your catchphrase, Samugi. That reminds me. And that's not just the handkerchiefs. My underwear is white too because I'm plain. You'll know when you finish my social link. Underwear? Here, let me show you. Ah! Uh, <laughs> Actually. If I get on the train without a ticket, nobody knows this because I'm plain. Also, I can get into movie theaters without a ticket because I'm plain. Wait. But, but, but that's illegal. <laughs> Just, just kidding. I bet I could do it, though. I'm so plain I don't have much of a presence. That's why I'm an international spy. Leave any undercover ops to me. Huh? A spy? Jeez. Uh, that was a joke, too. I didn't think you'd fall for that one. That one. What did you just pretend to? Are you more of a jokester than I thought? No, it's not quite that. Your sarcasm sucks. <laughs> you could be a real spy among the ultimates here, after all. Shuichi. Shuichi. Be careful of cult... Cults and con artists. The more you'll get taken in. But Samugi looks like she's having fun, so I guess it's all right. <laughs> Yay! She does really like saying that. I feel like I. But then again, every one of my classmates has some weird quirk that they're super like focused on. Samugi and I part our ways, and I return to my room. I learned a whole lot of nothing in that one. <laughs> Still some time. What dicks am I doing? Oh, you know what I really should be doing though. I should be fucking look for those Monokuma dolls! I totally forgot! It's easily the most important part of the game. Fuck everything else. Alright, time to go running. Ah! I think as far as I can tell, it seems like... Places that they've been once before aren't there again. So... Uh, the Monokuma dolls. <laughs> I'm really an herbivore! Mm. I was the one gonna be in the bathroom this time. I've been thinking for a long time that one would eventually be in here. Ah! Uh, uh, no, one day, one of these days. All right, this area doesn't have the creepy music anymore. Oh, there's one. I see you, fucker. Ah, damn it! What am I doing? I'm like, <laughs> like I'm sitting down thinking. With my thinking cap on. Oh, there's one. I. Yeah, there we go. Ah, damn it! How'd you see me? Oh, there it is. Oh, I got 
a little big book bag. All right, that's all of them. All right, Samuki. That reminds me. Now that God is gone, I wonder what's going to happen to all the bugs in his research lab. I don't think we could we could deal with them. All right, Samuki, let's hang out. I just feel bad, but let's just leave him alone. Oh, actually, that reminds me. Let's look at the, the prize I got. Empty insect cage. Prove that you cleared chapter four. A memento of Gonta. Left empty after no one remained to care for the insects. Ah, ah! The insects died too. What the fuck? This world's fucked up. We feel bad. Just leave him alone. I wonder if Gonta will get mad. I'll probably fucking avenge him. Let's spend some quiet time with Samugi. All right, here I have another sewing kit. Please don't make that freaky face. What? Ah, no. <laughs> what? Yes! You want to not really have this? I mean, no one else here can even appreciate it like this like I can. Hey! Soichi, what do you do when it's nighttime? Do you sleep right away? No, occasionally I go out in the middle of the night and fuck one of my classmates. Well, well, I don't have anything to do, so I tend to go to bed right I away. See. I did that at first, too, but now I usually stay up late. 10 o'clock just seems too early to go to sleep. So I've been making paper patterns for my next cosplay until I get sleepy. If I remember correctly. That reminds me. You said you were you like making the outfits more than wearing them, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's fun if other people wear them. I said it before, but some people have started to promote themselves more than their characters. Hmm. That's why you cosplay with love. Uh, of course, there's still cosplayers who think their characters are important, but the worst ones just use the characters as stepping stones. <laughs> Whoa, where did that come from? <laughs> ah, yes, like the Kameda cosplay. Huh? Stepping stones? I can't believe it. They even get famous doing cosplay. So from there, so people try to use that fame to become celebrities or idols. That's... I suppose that's true. There's a stepping stone for them. Right? right? It's fine if they disrespect me, but I want them to let them disrespect the characters. <laughs> but when I get mad like that, they just... Just call me an elitist and stop listening. Samugi sighed and rubbing her temples. This must be serious. Um, people first start cosplaying. They want your up as the characters because they like them. Before long, it warps. It's more warped the longer you do it. Warped? But the feeling doesn't change, does it? Um, well, for cosplay, you have more contact with others than most hobbies. In the beginning, it's just fun to wear the outfits, but... And you start comparing, pushing your opinions, starting trauma. Trauma. Before you know it, the feeling of wanting to trust the best of the character is replaced by the need to put in an, the effort to meet other people's standards. Makeup, what color, contract, contacts, whatever you need to make it perfect. But perfect perfection isn't such a bad goal though, is it? But the problem is they start to make fun of anyone who doesn't get it perfect. Of course, I believe you should work hard to make co quality cosplay, but it's even more important to feel like you can become your favorite character. That's why I don't want to, to call anyone just starting out bad or a newbie. You can't! Ah, uh, jeez! I don't have the right, for wor the right words for it. I can't say it well. No. <laughs> no, I think I understand. Smoogie never wants to forget the fun of cosplaying. Those feelings must be what makes her the ultimate cosplayer. Sorry. Oh, sorry. That wasn't just boring. It, it wasn't just boring. It got pretty heavy too, huh? Don't think that's all. Don't think that's all cosplay is, okay? Lots of things about it are just plain fun. Hey. Next time I'll talk about those things if you want to, of course. Ah, uh, that's good. I like him. Okay, I got to know you better a little, a, a little bit better that time. So we're gonna part ways, and I return to my room. Is it really true? Is that like really like people get really like mean about cosplay? <laughs> I mean, honestly, I've never really been to like a convention, so I, I couldn't really say. And I don't really cosplay either. Ba, ba. Are we gonna go back to the old way of doing it? Oh, we are! Oh! Is an announcement from the Ultimate Academy. Oh, look at this! Oh, does it just just bring back the memories, Nagi? I mean, Hadri. I mean, who are the fucks the main character? The time is now 10 p.m. Nighttime has officially begun. I said I have champagne instead of a martini this time, but yeah, whatever. Beggars can't be choosers, right? Good news, I still get fucked. Killers, this is your chance to strike. Victims, you have my condolences. Will you sleep like a baby tonight? Or sleep with the fishes? Either sleep way, in hell. Dream. Especially you, Shuichi. Yeah, you're going to fuck somebody later tonight. 
Hell yeah, I am. I'll be right there to tell you all about it. It's nighttime. I would have been training. Oh. Huh? Who could that possibly be? Well, you know what? We're gonna we have to wait till next time to find out. Yes, I I'm stopping here because I know uh, after I complete this cutscene, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night again and have to uh, probably go through the tutorial of how to make sweet sexy love with one of the other students, and I can't pause and save during that time, so uh, probably best to just stop it here for now. But anyway, guys, hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a ferret and subscribe for it already. Become Pinky Penguin for this LP. Where the days are always sunny, and the vids are always funny. Actually, it kind of makes me wonder then, is there just not a lab for Kokichi then? It doesn't seem like there are any other places to the academy that we have yet to unlock, like like any more secret doors. I think we've pretty much gotten everything. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of unusual. But then again, I, 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 Kokichi is just an unusual character in general, isn't he? I mean, even his quote-unquote talent, ultimate supreme leader, is kind of like, what do, what do we give him? <laughs> Nuclear warheads? A really nice military hat? No! My own endless supply of Panta! God, get it right, Monokuma! Fuck you, alright? That shit's expensive! Anyway, guys, as always, till next time, stay classy!